I'm here in front of the bus barn at Old Faithful in Yellowstone National Park. This is one of the last refuges of the Bombardier snow coach. Behind me are Rowdy, Mr. Chocolate, and Mr. Skippy. Hi, Mr. Chocolate. These snow coaches are dangerous, but I've been living among them for 20 years, and I'm here to protect them because these snow coaches are in jeopardy of being taken out of the park and replaced with conversion vans and retro buses. But I'm here to protect them and make sure that they stay wild and free in Yellowstone National Park. Wild and free. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. James felt the need to bond with the snow coaches, but in doing so, he often crossed an invisible borderline between man and machine. Hi. Hi there, honeybee. How are you? You're a good snow coach. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I love you. I love you. Times it seemed that he wanted nothing less than to be accepted into the world of the snow coach, as if he wanted to become one of them. James probably had the best intentions and all, but you just don't try to make friends with a machine, you know. I think Xantera probably would have fired him a long time ago, but they felt sorry for him, like he was mentally retarded or something. And this is Peanut. Peanut is five years old. And I met Peanut in 2003. And the first time we met, Peanut had a backfire and left transmission fluid all over my shoes. Ever since then, we have been the best of friends. Peanut is my best friend. I love Peanut. I love you, Peanut. Peanut is the best. Perry had been in the park for about 20 years. I got to know him pretty well, I guess. As a mechanic, I could appreciate how he felt about the snow coaches. When I heard he got killed by a snow coach, I was pretty upset. But you know, he lived life the way he wanted to live it, and I think we should remember that. When I received the remains of Mr. Perry, I had to wonder, what could have done this? I mean, it looked like he had been run over by a large vehicle. And then I heard the tape recording, and I could clearly hear someone say, get out of the road, or get off of the road, or maybe get the fuck off the road. It was hard to tell with all that engine noise. The only part of Mr. Perry that survived the incident, the attack, was his stopwatch. It's still ticking. In his last days, James used the camera as a means of personal expression. Often he would unburden himself on film in a way that seemed like a confessional. I'm not gay. I mean, I love Madonna. And 
think she's fabulous. Donatella Versace, oh my gosh. She's my queen. But that doesn't mean I'm gay. I mean, sometimes it seems like, you know, I wish I were gay. Because life would be simpler. So then I could go to rave parties and take ecstasy, sleep with big construction workers and truck drivers. But I'm not gay. Not. In the end, James gave up trying to live under the rules laid down by the Park Service, which ran counter to his own unique sense of right and wrong. We're coming to the end of another winter season here at Old Faithful, and it has been a wonderful success. Despite the efforts of the Park Service to try to kill the Winter Olympics, telling us that we can't parade in front of the snow lodge anymore. How dare they? How dare they tell us that we need permits to have fun? As far as all that goes, all I can say is, fuck you, motherfucking park service. Who do they think they are, saying that they can bring drug-sniffing dogs into the dormitories without any probable cause? And they say they can come into my room without a warrant? Fuck them, park service. What is the job of the Park Service anyway? They're supposed to protect the animals in the park. Well, what about that bison at Fishing Bridge? It was sick and it was dying and it laid down in the road to die a natural death. So what do the rangers do? They fucking shot it. Fucking Park Service. Fuck you. Savages rule. I first met James Perry at the Old Faithful Inn dining room. We were both servers. We later on became lovers. But it was hard because I always knew that no matter how much he said he loved me, it was the snow coaches of Yellowstone that meant the most to him. We're here at the bus barn where James spent so many happy hours. I was his good, good friend and he always said, if I don't come back, well, that's the way he would want it. So, we have his ashes here, and, and what else is in here? Well, there's a little oil, and some nuts, and bolts, and oh, little yellow paint chips. Oh, paint chips, that is so cool. It is cool. Oh. He finally found a way to live here forever. Rest in peace, James. Rest in peace. The Shoshone is gone, Chief Joseph is gone, the stagecoach is gone, and the two-stroke is gone. Four Seasons is gone, the shot ski is gone, hard liquor is gone, and James Perry is gone.